previously on until dawn. It was just a prank, Han. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse okay. me, did you say something? You don't have to put that in every... Not hear me with your sluttiness. Stop it! You know, Mike, why don't you flashback. Check out the when I told you about previously on. Yeah. All right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I'll watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? Yes! <coughs> so, it says here. Chapter 3, Isolation. Spirit world, Eight hours until park, dawn. Drop all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is... It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> no, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay, then. Let's see what happens. Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you be our... Ashley, Washington Lodge Library. Uh, 23,000, oh, or whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, is anyone there? Will you reveal yourself to us if you're there? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Holy shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. Who are you? Oh, here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Whose sister? Oh, come on. Is this for real? Shut up. Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Mm. Who are we speaking to? Beth? Is that you? Oh, oh God! <laughs> this is messed up. Josh, are you? Fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No, dude, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If if this is actually Beth, I mean, we, we can find out what happened that night. Okay. Um. Beth, we want to know what happened to you that night. Can you tell us? H A N N. It's spelling Hannah. Wait, it's still going. K I L L. Oh my God. Killed. Guys, guys, what's she talking about? I don't know if I can keep doing this. We have to. Just, just, just stay calm. I, I think it's saying that someone killed Hannah. I don't know. I just a ask it something else. Hmm. Okay. Okay. How was Hannah killed? L. I. B. The library. Maybe there's Lib. something in the library here. E. R. O. Oh. Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Holy shit, Chris! Oh, you know what? No, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't 
don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no! You wanted to use the spirit board! I mean, that's true. It's, it's not actually I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it! Should we go after him? Ah, man, I, I mean, he'll be okay. Let's, let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. I mean, if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Our status updated. I didn't see anything move. You lied to me. A mic path to the cabin. 23, 22. A lot of jump scares, what the hell? I scared the blue out of my jeans. <laughs> the hell is that doing in there anyway? Mm, yes, that's a good question. Uh... Jessica, oh come on. Uh... I guess we could always go back. Yo, naturally, with this camera angle, Jess, you would go you down go? that way. This is correct. Not funny. So this is the side way. Maybe, possibly. Oh, I was right. A totem. Ah. Uh, Kind of hard to see. A danger. Okay. Have we uh, missed any totem? Not what it seems. Possibly missed a clue here. Or maybe not. Because with this one, right? Or no, it was a the mystery man. We had this, and then we missed these two. But then we just went there, went more forward as Chris, and got them. So you know, we'll see. It's not it's not like a clue would dramatically change anything, right? I totally promise I won't murder you when I- oh! Oh Another jump scare. <laughs> that was so good! No! no. <laughs> wait, 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 you had to see this. You had to I'm not seeing it! No, 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 no! You recorded that? <laughs> Look at your face! <laughs> I was scared, oh Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. Oh I'm sorry to uh, scare you. If we send that to anybody- <gasps> I'm... what? gonna kill you. I didn't know you had such a cute little lady like scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you scared the pants off of them. Hmm. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Well, I hope you're strapped in, because you're about to feel the full force of my mind-melting thrill skills. 
Oh, another totem. Perfect. This one's yellow. Guidance. <laughs> Okay. Is this where we came from? Freaking long section. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, see, this is okay. This is where we were. I'm back this way, Jess. Tough and rugged, manly man on the exterior, but deep down, I'm in touch with my feelings. I'm not afraid to show a little affection now and again. Oh, yeah? You're gonna show me some affection? <laughs> All kinds of affection. Oh, is that a check I can cash? Wink. <laughs> Let's go, Casanova. Oh, I'm honest. I'm not charitable. I am also romantic. Just utterly romantic. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, so we have a bridge over there. This is the totem. I guess we just go across the bridge. Wow. Kinda like a real winter wonderland out here now. Hey girl, you know I'll help you up. Mm-hmm. Hey this this is the guest cabin by the way. It is like so far away. Just probably a little squirrel could make that horrifying sound. What? Do you hear that? No. Hello? Someone there? You know, sometimes it's better to do nothing. Ah! Oh. Another jump scare. Kind of.
charming. It's everything you described, Michael. Wait, what? The cabin. I love it. Yeah. Well, what's in? Hmm? Mm. Old mask found. An old mining gas mask. The name inside says it belonged to a miner called Billy Bates. We're not gonna scare her, you know. I am utterly not charitable. How, how was showing her the mask instead of scaring her like not charitable? Frickin' the doctor's gonna be so pissed at me. Let's say charity's above everything, and then look at me. Frickin' Mike is a selfish bastard. It seems. That damn deer. What is that? Oh. I'm not sure I want to know. Oh. Total bear. See now something's chasing us, so we take the shortcut. my pants a little bit. I don't under control. Hold on. Oh, bullshit. No, 100%. 100%. 110. Oh. Holy crap, I feel like I just ran a marathon. I think we kind of did. Was it a bear? Yeah, gotta be. Things are crazy fast. I mean, I didn't see it. Hey, things are not gonna come barging in, I promise. How can you be sure? Because I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay, well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay. 
I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. Butterfly effect updated. Uh, Jessica appreciated Mike's heroism. Mike continued to impress Jessica. Is there more to that? No, okay. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's been drafty or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael, I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. Yes. My lady. Status updated. Not honest, somehow. Nice. This will lighten up the mood a little. Oh! Ah! Oof. Hey, why are you okay? What are you doing? It's, it's the lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. Uh, it's probably faulty wiring or something. You've got faulty wiring. Oh, good one. Oh, what the hell? You just put your thumb on the glass like that, man? Come on. Hannah winning bronze. Alberta inter... Invitate... Invitation... Whatever. Goddamn. Hannah, a framed photo of Hannah playing tennis. Invitational? Unless right. you want to make out with an ice sculpture, I suggest you get a fire going. Pronto. Hey, you know, I'm just checking out the place, making sure making sure it's secure. A bathroom? Ah. Oh, good one. What do you think was in there, Mike? Come hey, you on. know, we're making sure it's secure. Oh, my book. The Kama Sutra. <clears throat> well, uh. Hmm, mm, yes. Oh, hell yeah. These guys were <laughs> inventive. When one of the lovers presses with force one or both of the thighs of the other, but between his or her own, it is called the clapsing of thighs. Clasping of thighs. Mm, yes, okay. Um, various uh, manifold uses of pleasure in all of it. Uh, all You're writing it, a fire, Michael, not writing a novel. How much longer is it going to take you? Just a minute, I'm reading the Kama Sutras. You know, this is study. Pleasure in all its highest spiritual and physical forms. What a husband must desire most profoundly in his wife or mistress, thus must the wife or mistress most aesthetically return. The many and intimate delights of the flesh are an expression both of it's worldly... It's so cold in here right now, my tongue will get stuck to your flagpole. <laughs> both of worldly affection and spiritual oneness. Hence, when the husband takes the position known as the elephant rising, the wife responds with the known by the, with that known by the ancients as the swan in splendor. Of the advanced position known as the hermit plays his lair is often coupled with one which goes by many names, but is commonly called the daisy blossoms. Keep that in my back pocket. So, you know, when we're uh, <clears throat> doing intimate things, I can whip it out and, like, you want to, you want me to do the freaking hermit with the lair? Huh? You do the freaking 
or whatever. Yeah, you know, I'll do this. Mood lighting. If we're gonna light a fire, this really doesn't matter. Ah, this will take care of the mood lighting. Hmm. Native American myths and legends by Joseph Malik. Oh my god. The mother bear returned. She was enraged and attacked the merchant, but he managed to escape with her cubs pet. He managed to escape it. A mighty eagle saw this and swooped at the merchant as he ran through the trees, but a gunshot frightened the eagle away. The merchant was uh, leaving the forest and was gleeful thinking of the money that would soon be his. But a great tree fell blocking his way. He had to turn back and find another route. And that is where he met the bear once more. The great spirit stopped him that day and the bear had its revenge. To anger the earth is to sacrifice your life. The great spirit sees all. Remember that and be wary. Respect is the way of the tribe. It's like we weren't the only ones to meet the friendly neighborhood oh. terror bears. That does not make me feel any better. Native American signs and symbols. Native American hunters used symbols and signs scratched on the trees or on the walls to uh, communicate with other tribe members. Many symbols conveyed religious or mystical beliefs. Others warned of danger and or offered protection and some told of good hunting grounds. Most symbols were specific to the tribe that used it and would be recognizable to other tribes. Shown below and opposite are some symbols used by tribes in North America and Canada. Image of hunter symbol, the bow, good hunting ground, image of butterfly symbol, a vision of, or dream of the future, Image of skull symbol, a ward or spell protecting against evil spirits. And we saw that in the mines. So what was that a clue? Updated. Oh. According to the book in the cabin, the symbols are to ward off evil spirits. That's great. There is a section showing symbols which the Native Americans used to keep evil spirits away. Were there, was there more to the Kama Sutra? Here, let me just, you know, make some progress. Here you go, here's some wood. All right, logs are ready to go. Just need a match. But first, Kama Sutra. Kama Sutra. <laughs> Oh, and there's more. I'm not sure if I'm ready for such advanced levels of game play. When one kisses the the image of a person reflected in a mirror or in water or his own shadow on a wall, it is the kiss of declaration. When the woman places either thigh across that of her lover, it is called the entwined position. Good to know. Write that down. You will be on the test. Oh. Shit. Fuck, Mike. What? Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone. It is gone, okay? Yes. Slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can you find it? Crap, no. I must have dropped it outside. Oh. Shit. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. It's got to be outside. Yeah. I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear. 
or whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. Oh. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Oh, Jess! A gun? Look at this! Is it a fire? No, way cooler. Scared? You have hands over your head? No. Why do guns make men go completely bonkers? Nothing. The power to kill something that's stronger. Right. Than them. I shall never understand what we have together. Oh, stairs up, dude. Okay. Oh, one final match. Lucky. Man one, fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. Mm. All right, my lady. I'm pretty sure bears what don't have this kind of vision. You know, you can turn your flashlight off, but that's burning through batteries. <laughs> Butterfly effect updated. Oh, hold on. Jessica was a pushover. Oh, okay. Actually, Washington we Lodge out. Library, 2314. Anything back this way? Hmm? No, okay. A clue? Oh. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah. He looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? I mean, it's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance 
Maybe we went too far. Huh? That's why you never go forward, always go backwards. There's always a clue to find. A glasses case with Hannah's initials on the back. Hannah was wearing her glasses on the day she went missing. Fat lot of good it did her, you know. Couldn't see how stupid she was being. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. To the library. Anything over here? Mm -hmm. I mean, those glasses were uh, pretty missable. No, I guess not. Oh. Light from below. Yeah. The power's not even on. The electricity is out, but there is an electric light shining from the room below the library. See, now, once again, I don't know. Did I miss this? Or is it later on? He wants to go that way? What about this door? Hmm? Locked. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. Oh, panel opens. Head explodes. Are we, like, in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's a rom-com. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house. I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, How would they not know? After you. Chris, Washington Lodge Library, 2319. I'm presumably they put the books here. So they would have had to put frickin' books on that shelf with the button. So, I mean, they would have had to have seen this. Portrait 50. A portrait of Washington twins, of the Washington twins. This must have been taken a few months before they disappeared. What? Whoa, is what this... did you find? Oh. Okay, good, we didn't miss this one. Good, 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 good. A creepy note written to the Washington family threatening to exact revenge on Hannah and Beth. I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Fucking 16 years, 16 years I waited for pretty little Hannah and Beth. Oh? Holy cow. Oh, well, gotta be yeah, honest. I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I, I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. Okay. Status updated. Oh, that's so honest. Not charitable and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh. Let's just go into the locked door that was open. What was that? 
The locked door that is now open. Slowly creaked open. Ooh. Do you right, think but... someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? Ooh. If so, that would be really messed up. Ooh, we got a long read. Uh, a Native American letter. A letter from Joss's mother about the Native American tribes that used to live on the mountain. On the back is a scrawled note about a strange man she saw near the lodge. November 8th, 2013. Dr. C.J. Swaffham, whatever, race and ethnicity department, blah, blah, blah. Uh, dear Dr. Swaffham, thank you for your response. It's good to know that the tribe still feel an attachment to the land here, even if we have a few unfortunate problems. Graffiti people sleeping in the outbuildings. Graffiti? People sleeping in the outbuildings. This is their ancestral home, after all. I have made contact with the descendants of the tribe and intend to make a donation to their elder council. Healing the wounds of the past won't be easy, but I feel it's a step in the n that is necessary. Yours sincerely, Melinda Washington. On reverse, saw that crazy guy again. Thus, <laughs> Thursday, 9.17 p.m., hanging around the generator shed. Mm. I'm going to start keeping a record. He was Looks around like the generator right shed. Mom. Yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, the bad karma goes back a long way. Oh my god, a door that's not locked? Wow. The ghosts are leading us somewhere. Hmm? More clues? Oh, <laughs> a locked door? Surprise it is! Wow, my god. <sighs> So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and that, there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. I mean, maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. What? Under the floorboards in the library, the light. Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris. If this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. Oh. Uh -huh. You hear that? That was Josh! Oh, coming from the kitchen. Oh. Josh! Josh! Oh. Coming! Hold on! Oh. Ashley! I was gonna say, it's cool, Ashley, you know, that they reference Lydia. the clues you find. Ashley! Um. <clears throat> Um. Oh, good, we're back here, great. See, you've decorated more. Change on the wall, that's nice, you know.
silence, okay, yes. I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Maybe you don't God, that's like a big them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers are important. Mm. Sam or Josh? Mm -hmm. We've seen more of Sam. You know, she uh, even so far either of these are fine, but you know, Josh was a little weird with Ashley, so you know, you know. Matt, you know, is that a question? I mean, we all know the answer. Mm, Chris or Ashley? Hmm. I'd say Ashley. Mike or Jessica? Well, Mike seems a little more level-headed. Okay, judge me in silence. And Josh, of course. And Chris, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Tell me. This little game you're playing so diligently. Who is it that you most dislike? <laughs> Surprise! It's probably everyone else. You know, Ash, the freaking Emily. Bit too like bitchy it. for your taste. Yeah. The lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think about that. Is that not just a little bit like? Oh, me. <laughs> Rather I'm tired. confident. We'll talk again soon. Totally confident. 100% confident. 